Mm -hmm. oh, Lydia, Priestess, Honey Moon, Lily. What else? What other names? Oh, Rem Diamond. <laughs> What's in a name? Oh, so much. So much power in our names. Oh, the energy of words. Yeah, I just picked my dog up, got him fixed. Like, oh my god, the guilt, like feeling guilty over fixing my dog. Like, fixing, what What was wrong with him in the first place? Why does he need to be fixed? Like, anyways. <laughs> oh my god, the amount of guilt from these animals. Like, oh, they're worth it. It just means I care and I can do better, but... <laughs> Even, like, guilt over getting them fixed. Like, oh, and, like, then the word castrated? That sounds even worse. Ah! <laughs> oh, man, the energy and words. The energy, the energy, like, alone. Ah, the serpent energy that flows through me. I can help move in you. Ah! Seeing my energy, like, really touching people because I'm showing up as my highest self. And it really gives people that permission to do the same. And we can all work through our shit and blossom into the lily or lotus or whatever flower you're, you want to bloom. Maybe you want to, like, bloom into fruit or a tree or something else. I don't know. That maybe we're all meant to like blossom in different ways too. Maybe. I think we are. <laughs> What's meant for one isn't meant for everyone, and that is fine. All can be loved and accepted, right? And just knowing what I'm here for to spread this creator energy, to wake up the divine being in others. We are that. Hmm. So much fear and pain and trauma is keeping us stuck from I'm like even in me, I'm not like perfect. <laughs> Just perfectly created. <laughs> Coming back to that perfect the sense that it was meant before we put all of this perfection onto it just meant knowing our connection to the divine we are perfect and humans we are imperfect and that's beautiful too like we're flawed perfection now and beauty when all is love then it's all perfect and <laughs> Trying not to project these human emotions onto my dog, even though he's like super sedated. He's just groggy, like he had the sedation. So, poor baby, feel so bad. Ugh. I can only do better. I use these feelings to really move me to get out three times a day train them up and just make them my little healing puffs that they are just, just so want to serve and do more for us for me so really getting that connection and getting that training going it's all about training myself <laughs> <sighs> Super grateful for everyone that's here. I'm like, is it because I'm like showing up as myself? Like, I'm all, all of what I've been calling in is kind of all these new subscribers, or I think like once you hit a certain amount, then YouTube maybe shows it. Either way, whatever. I'm super grateful that you're here. And like, oh my god, keep the comments coming and sending so much love back to you. Just, yeah, so many questioning thoughts and you know those lower vibrational things that are so programmed into our minds are like what are you doing this for blah 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 like no point right but it is for me and knowing that i've touched like one person with my words makes it all worse right we're human beings not human doings like remember 
I got this message from my mom. I was doing like, like I had messaged her through this respite group and I was like gonna offer her some respite for her daughter, but she never contacted me back. But like six months later, she like sends me a message just going, wow, like I just wanted to tell you how much your message touched me and like that just really got me through this dark time in my life. And that's all there is, baby. Going out and seeing people touched by my energy, even if it's triggering them, whatever. Allowing people to be themselves from my presence. It is a gift. So it's flowing through. Mwah, player baby. <laughs>